expectations of this visit are not very high in terms of direct outcomes. For the last couple of years, um, the United States has, has pretty much backed away from expecting big deliverables from these summits. Uh, there's a pattern that's been put in place since Hu Jintao's state visit last year at the beginning of 2011, uh, where the quid pro quo is uh, the Chinese will have a good photo occasion, um, the United States will be able to get concessions in negotiations at other times of the year, um, at other points in, in the relationship, and also that the summits will help to smooth the way th for what have been some rather fraught periods of, of US-China relations. And we saw with the, the Hu Jintao visit that that was actually remarkably successful. Um, it really locked in um, a pattern for US-China relations that um, pretty confident will, will, will last to the end of his, his term in office. Um, but from the summit itself, um, there were almost uh, no deliverable outcomes whatsoever, and it will be a, a, a best modest from this uh, from this visit too. Um, what you will be looking to do, what the United States will be looking to do with the visit, though, is um, build some level of um, personal rapport with with Xi Jinping. With Hu Jintao as leader, uh, it's it's been it's been very difficult. Whatever one makes of of of, of him as a as a president and as a as a party secretary, it's been very difficult to build any sort of personal rapport between him and and other leaders. Um, he's he's not that sort of personality, um, and it means that when there are tensions and difficulties in the relationship, there is no level of personal chemistry to be able to uh, smooth issues over. Uh, with Xi Jinping, there's a there's there's a bit more hope um, given his his background and what we know of his personality um, that there'll be a little more scope to to do that so um, this is the second stage in a process that um, followed Vice President Biden's trip out to China next year uh, well there's there's a hope that uh, senior US figures will be able to build something more of a personal relationship with uh, China's almost certainly uh, next president next party secretary than than has been possible in the past Xi Jinping has done a job of being absolutely scrupulous about showing nothing of what he's, he's going to do. Uh, people we uh, know who are uh, close to him and have, 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 have watched him in action still cannot glean anything um, of, of meaningful policy changes that, that, that he's likely to initiate. Uh, this has been necessary for him to kind of keep his head down, um, ensure that he doesn't ruffle any feathers. Um, he's, he's sort of destined for the succession. He doesn't need to, uh, he, he doesn't need to come out to signal any sort of new direction. Um, he just needs to uh, uh, avoid riling anyone through this period of time. Um, having said that, um, uh, he, he is a different personality from, uh, from Hu Jintao. Um, he comes from a different um, faction in, in, in the party. Uh, Hu Jintao is from uh, the, the Communist Youth League faction, slightly more sort of uh, left, social democratically orientated. Uh, Xi Jinping is, is a princeling, um, uh, more from, 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 from the right of the party, uh, more of a background in uh, the coastal areas and the sort of go-ahead parts of, of China financially uh, and economically. Um, so there'll be some expectation um, that uh, there'll, there'll be an element of a, a, a shift in, in, in that direction, um, even though it's, it, it, it's quite clear that the, the social reforms um, and, and rebalancing that um, Hu Jintao's been uh, looking to put in place for the last few years is still going to be necessary. Um, but the biggest difference um, uh, about the princeling faction um, and, and the Communist Youth League faction is uh, these are more self-confident, uh, almost aristocratic um, uh, uh, people in the, in the Chinese political world. Um, one Chinese analyst um, has described his hopes that Xi Jinping could be China's Churchill. Um, uh, and after a number of years of very staid, very cautious leadership, um, uh, although there's not an expectation that there'll be um, any dramatic change um, in the way the, the leadership works at the top level in China, uh, that having um, a leader with, 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 with a different personality and, and perhaps with a greater level of self-confidence to take steps domestically and on the international stage, um, that you'll start to see um, a, a China that's 
may be rather more willing to, to take some, uh, some of the bolder decisions that have been put off um, for, for, for a number of years now.